welcome back to National Bank Stadium. It's uh, over 40 cricket global cup uh, is being played and uh, Pakistan is taking on the West Indies and uh, in the first half West Indies uh, finished their uh, innings uh, in the limited 45 overs uh, they got to 202 in, in exactly 45 overs for the loss of eight wickets uh, it's a bright sunny day here in uh, Karachi and uh, we have a perfect conditions uh, for cricket it's a 202 runs they need uh, to win this game and uh, they've already won uh, previous all games Amjad Ali, the left-hand batter, who will face, and it seems like they are starting with the spinners as wicketkeeper standing up the stumps. So that is quite interesting, Danish. Uh, no seamer. They're starting with the spinner. Speaking of the run chase in the previous match, Pakistan uh, took their time. They played according to the situation. Did not uh, try anything rash, as uh, Farooq informed us. Uh, Kashif Sadiq on the non-striker end. I'd like to see Pakistani batters uh, go at it a bit harder than we saw them doing against Australia. Shazan Bhavwa, uh, who will start this innings, uh, he will operate from the University Road end. It's all set for the run chase here. A slip, short third man, backward point cover, short fine leg, mid wicket, and three men can be placed uh, outside the ring. Pakistan of the mark, just tapped the ball easily by Amjad and went for the single, so Good response from Kashif as well. Pakistan of the mark, Amjad of the mark. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. That was extremely close. And that will bring the boundary as well. Possibly not. Will it go to the fence? The ball has uh, slowed down a little bit. Nothing short from Kashif. Uh, he was extremely fortunate. Yep, that's exactly what we were talking about. Baba is getting that shape in. He will have to be careful. Did not read it. More runs here. This time a tickle. Once again, tough chase for short final leg fielder. And ball once again is struggling to get to the fence. And they are just jogging. Uh, maybe they were expecting a boundary. And if you can see uh, Mahabir now, he's uh, already holding on to his hamstring. It was so close. Maybe umpire is having a look at this and uh, I think it's safe. Tight single again. The stumps have been broken but it's what's well in. I think it's a good call by Kashif. No swing there for Devon. Uh, probably because he's bowling at a, at a much slower pace as compared to Babwa. That would have been. That was so close, or maybe. Oh my goodness gracious! Will they go upstairs now? Can they go upstairs? I don't think so. I mean, once you've seen the replay, you cannot probably go upstairs. We are waiting for the result, for official result on the giant screen. Everyone is watching there. It's out. Softest missile, and I was just praising that Kash Sadiq uh, responded well. He uh, could not express himself uh, as a batsman. Seven for none, Pakistan. Rizwan is the next man in. Mohammad Rizwan Aslam is also a left hand batter. Big shot for leg before. Is it close enough? Is it close enough? Not given by the umpire. Yeah, the only thing that could have saved him was an inside edge. Goodness me, how close was it? Well played by Amjad. Couple of men. Are after the ball, but ball wins the race this time. So boundary off the bat for Amjad. It was an easy shot to play. It was so close to cut. It didn't get any width whatsoever. But somehow it played it well enough. Plucked the cap and ball raced away to the fence. It was a quicker one from Babba, but uh, how well did Amjad read that one? Managed to uh, get a good enough connection to take that ball towards the boundary line. This should give him a lot of confidence. He goes for it. Will he find the fence? Yes, uh, that's gone for four. Towards fine leg is swept away nicely and it was uh, in complete control. So boundary again for Amjad. Previously uh, he attempted that shot and uh, he missed out. On that occasion he got a connection. 
Dropped the ball short and pulled it well. Will he find the fence? Yes. Top shot from Rizwan on this occasion. That was the opportunity. The ball was dropped short and nicely dispatched by the left-hander. Welcome boundary for Rizwan. He was expecting the good delivery is bowled by Babwa. Waited for the bad delivery and pounced on it when uh, he got the opportunity. Short and he's found the gap. This could be a boundary. Two men after the ball and ball once again is struggling to reach the fence and finally it's a boundary. So Riz Rizwan gets four with a short outside the off stump and nicely managed. He's uh, bowling uh, at a flat trajectory and short as well. It was a gift for Amjit to pull advantage of it. Drives beautifully. Could be a boundary. No need to chase. Superb shot from Rizwan. Pitched up outside the off stump. Nicely played and uh, on that occasion Fielder gave up. Gave up the chase. Beautifully driven. Big stride forward. Perfectly placed. In the air and he's found the gap. Nice shot this time. That's gone for four. Through the gap. Beautifully controlled by Rizwan. Clement, who has been so, so economical, finally has considered a boundary. Just a touch wide and perfectly placed. No shortage uh, of maturity at this level, Faro. These players have played so much cricket that they understand conditions, they understand different targets and the approach needed to achieve that target. We're provided and it's found the gap. Four more. Lovely shot. Waited for the turn outside the off term and cut away in the gap for four runs. Good batting. Tell you what, that was beautifully played from Rizwan because uh, that one from Clements jumped up. There you see, got extra bounce there. Rizwan still managed to get over the top of it. Cut it beautifully for four. Or is bar zordar short kela or mid wicket boundary se gain bar jati vi char runs. This time it was Amjad's turn to cut loose. Narsing Dhyonarayan, the captain, just dropping it fuller. And Amjad has been in a scintillating form in this tournament. He has already scored a century against Nepal. Saw that fuller length, cleared his front leg and just hit it across the line on the leg side. So flurry of boundaries in the last few overs for Pakistan. Nicely swept away this time. Over fine leg, that's going to be four more. Consecutive boundaries to the left-hander, and 50 comes up with that boundary on the leg side. So Pakistan's batsmen, who are here at the National Stadium, dominate. And the West Indies have spin balls, but they are not able to get the most out of it. Two balls on the other side of the Amjad. Nice shot from Nicely timed on the offside once again. Rizwan has managed to find the gap. The chase is on between the ball and the fielder. Although he tried to stop it with his foot, but still the ball ended up touching the boundary skirtings. Zishan, now that the Pakistan team has seen this short pitch, the Pakistan team has seen the strength and the performance. I think that if you compare any team to Pakistan, Pakistan is going to be the favourite. Coming down the track as soon as you mentioned they're not in a hurry. Amjad has deposited it all along off for a magnificent six. Commentators curse this time. So the first shot Amjad has killed this innings. So Amjad has reached 42 runs. Look at this. He's got two steps ahead and he's got six runs against the boundary line. Nice shot from the left hander. On the leg side, all along the carpet, that's going to be another boundary. Shifting gears now, Amjad. A six of the previous ball, a boundary of the next. So, I think that our voice has reached Amjad and they have changed the gear from one side. Two gears on the first one and this is the second one. It was a full-blooded sweep stroke, this one. Once again, sitting down on one knee and playing it all along the carpet on the leg side. 
nicely driven on the outside by this one. Both these batters are complementing each other very well indeed out there in the middle. 20 done Pakistan are now 93 for one.